So I'm hearing rumors that it's real. I'm hearing rumors that it was fake for publicity. But man, Hassan Campbell is someone that I'm very familiar with and had a chance to speak with early on in the clubhouse days. Um, he is a very, very interesting character. He's obviously deals with a lot of trauma, as you'll see throughout the video. And um, a lot of people are... There's a lot of mixed emotions about this situation here, being that he, if you go to his channel now, you'll see how he kind of, um, he'll, he's made videos of like rappers and sit people that are street affiliated. Once they meet their demise, he'll post something like they got their, um, their, their snot box rocked or something like that. Just something that was distasteful. But his intentions was to wake up the youth and show them that the risks that they're taking are actually not fruitful. So some people didn't like it. Some people are like, you know what? He's um, just trying to put the medicine in the candy. So I can see it from that point of view. But with this specific situation here, well, just to preface the story, apparently um, this is allegedly but from what he says is he was touched by um, African Bambada. And Africa Bambada is a very prominent person in New York hip hop, right? And most people, some people argue hip hop in general. But from what I'm, from my uh, personal research, I know Africa Bambada from just being a prominent name in New York from back in the day, right? And, um, Apparently, he had a stronghold on the youth in New York, and he happened to be one of them. And being that I don't think Hassan Campbell had a father in his life, of course, he navigated towards having someone of a father figure in his life, that being African Bambada. And now um, it seems like African Bam Bambada did this to several other youth of that time. And um, Hassan Campbell just seems to be the martyr in the situation it seems the one seems to be the one to speak out about his experiences now some people argue it's out of um vanity and some people argue well once you experience that kind of trauma um there's not really much anyone can tell you in terms of like uh, expressing yourself right so we're gonna look at this video see if you really got shot what he thinks now just to say this three minutes into the video he's going in on Cassie, right? And um, oh, let's listen to him say. Exactly, what is the world telling me? Cassie could get $50 million for being in a, rela for being in a relationship that she don't like. But I can't even get no attention. See, off rips, um, you can tell, obviously, this has a lot to do with his personal emotions. In his actual situation being that for one he said off rip cassie gets 30 million dollars for being in a relationship she didn't want to be in and listen to what he follows that statement with for the shit that was done to me in bronx river the fuck is y'all telling me what is you, what is you what is y'all telling me what is the world what, 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 what are we saying i didn't ask nobody for fucking money what are y'all telling me what is y'all telling me I'm the realest nigga forever, forever, ever, forever, forever. And he's literally in his in a neighborhood. I'm not sure. Obviously, I would say it's his neighborhood from the comfortability and being that he has a lot of people who don't, excuse me, who don't like him. So it's got to be his neighborhood. But that's neither here nor there. Come outside, throw that fucking body. Come downstairs and throw that body. Come downstairs and throw that fucking body. So this is where the, as you can see, well, let me rewind it a couple, a little bit. Boom. Forever. So here he is, is in his neighborhood, right? Some, Come boom. outside, throw that fucking body. Come downstairs and throw that body. Come downstairs and throw that fucking body. Come outside and throw that fucking body. I stab your ass to death. Bitch ass nigga, come outside and throw that bottle. Wow. Come outside and throw that bottle. So, I mean, uh, yeah, if he threw the bottle, that's obviously jeopardizing his safety and probably someone's, like, upset with him just being a nuisance in, um, just in the neighborhood. But now, him being 
him and where he comes from and the trauma that he's experienced, he's automatically thinking that that's probably like an op or somebody that dislikes him. When in reality, it could just be somebody that's in the neighborhood that's trying to sleep before work that got that just put the baby down and doesn't want to hear too much noise. So he just, you know, it, a bottle is a little bit too excessive, but I don't think there's no something personal there rather than just someone in their neighborhood wanting some peace and quiet. <laughs> If I see that body come out the window, I guarantee you I come outside, I live in this building, I'll come upstairs and fuck you up. Word to my mother. Word to my mother. Throw it again. Throw the bottle out the window. So yeah, he's at the park in his neighborhood expressing himself, basically talking about the situation with African Bombada, comparing it to what Cassie went through with P. Diddy and the fact that she got paid and everyone's causing like this big ruckus and making noise about what she went through. But it sounds like he's upset that the situation he went through, along with other young men, um, n it wasn't really raised too much. People didn't really raise too much attention. And it's rumored that African Bam Bambada still runs the streets of New York. So I can understand where his frustration comes from. Um, but I definitely don't agree in terms of expressing yourself like this. It's an easy crash out like easy crash out he said some things he's gotten to arguments with whack 100 he's gotten to arguments with several i mean he's the one who quote unquote leaked the situation with nipsey hustle and and those kind of allegations so there's a lot of people who might dislike him so he's literally in his neighborhood park yelling so this it, the crash out just doesn't add up so if we speed up the video a little bit he just, he's continuing to go back and forth with the person upstairs. Bitch, I will fuck your mother up. Don't throw nothing out the window while I'm not looking. Come outside. At this point, it's kind of agitating. All right, if somebody throws something down the window, um, either move around, but, you know, these niggas be from the streets and got the pride the size of um, Goliath, which doesn't, which always works to their detriment. But yeah, if that happens, if you over there, you shooting the IG, they throwing bottles down. You can just look how big and expansive the park is. You can just move to a different area. But no, you're going to agitate, throw another part off, do this to your moms and stuff and whatnot. So obviously that person up there might be a gangster too. And they threw another bottle to check his temperature. What up, Don't throw it out the window. I'm not, I'm not looking. Come outside, nigga. Come outside. Come outside with the shooters. Come outside. Come outside. With, come outside with the shooters. Y'all just heard that. Come outside with the shooters. So we go from come outside with the shooters to right here. I see. Take the second exit on Westchester Avenue. I need to get to the hospital quick. Take the second exit on Westchester Avenue. Get a quarter of a mile. Uh, leave the phone. Go, go. I got you. Go straight. Go straight. I need to get to the hospital. I got you, sir. I'm just going to Red light camera reported ahead. Ah. Uh, ooh. Oh, wait. Pull over. Let's just get the ambulance. That bullet getting hot. I know. That's why I said just pull over. Let me get the ambulance. I'm shot. Let's get to the hospital is what he said. Now, all of it is just a bit too much for me when I went through and kind of like did my little, little due diligence on the situation. Some people are saying that it was staged or it's fake. Some people are saying that, um, saying prayers up for Hassan. So I honestly, I'm going to try to keep you all updated in terms of like what the severity of the situation is. Um, obviously, uh, I don't justify anyone being shot and getting their life taken away from them. So um, if he is shot, speedy recovery to him. Hopefully you don't be outside on a camera doing the same thing again. Hopefully learn the lesson. But what do you all think about the situation with Hassan Campbell, an African Bam Bambada and him? kind of using that situation to uh mirror what's going on with cassie and diddy is that can y'all see the correlation between that or what do y'all think